I see the quarterback rolling right. There's no way this receiver is going to go to the left. Nobody can make that throw. So what does the receiver do? He runs the corner post. Not everybody can run this play because a lot of quarterbacks can't make this throw, but Justin can. This throw is not for everybody, folks. Don't try this throw at home. Play four. Watch the footwork here. This is a quick three-step drop. Ball on time outside away from the defender a lot of good things here this is a quicker pattern this is a option route by the slot this is Gotti. we've talked about this before it's a go route down here at the bottom option route in the slot Gotti. we called it soprano Gotti, 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 got got help him got soprano soprano it's a common play that a lot of teams run you got to be on time i always liked Gotti into the boundary i like to short side throw but Justin Herbert has a big time arm. He can make this throw to the outside because he's on time and his footwork is really good. He has quick feet. It's a quick drop, one, two, three, one hitch, ball. Nice completion, nice game for the first down. Play nine, just a good feel for the pocket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He steps up. He knows this tight end's got a tough block coming across the formation. Boom, he steps up. If he drifts two more steps, that's an easy sack, but he's on time. That's the right footwork. It's a hard step up. And watch this throw on the run. He's got a lot of momentum. Boom. He still finds a way to control the throw. He doesn't throw it 100 miles an hour. He doesn't muscle it into the dirt. A lot of times when you're under duress and you're stepping up really hard in the pocket, you throw it low into the ground. His back is turned. He doesn't know where that blitzer is, but he feels him right there. He steps up and makes an accurate throw. That's a really good play. Play number 12 here. This is a fade route with the possibility of throwing a fade stop, a back shoulder. But what Justin is doing, he's kind of leaning down as if he's going to possibly hand it off. I don't mind that if the receiver down here was running a slant route because what does that do? That gets the defensive line, the linebackers, to kind of come forward because they think it's a run play. The quarterback is kind of dipping down, getting ready to hand it off. But if you're throwing a fade route, that little dip is not doing anything. All it's doing is getting you kind of off balance and off track, right? You see how his footwork is a little off. He ends up stepping right toward the sideline. He's a little off on the throw. He also can't really see. The best way to run a fade for a quarterback is just back pedal if you're throwing to the left, a quick three-step drop if you're throwing to the right. Peyton looks for the quick throw, lobs it in the corner to Marvin. So if you're throwing a fade, just drop back right away. It doesn't matter if the linebackers and defensive line know that you're throwing the fade. This ball is safe and to the outside. Get your eyes up there so you can determine in a quick period of time what type of throw you have to make. A fade with air to the pylon or a back shoulder on the outside of the receiver's shoulder pads. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on that. Chargers had a great drive to get out of their own end zone, get all the way down here, and just kind of stalled. I know fourth down, it's all about the analytics. You got to go for it. I don't know. I guess I'm just too old school. Maybe just take the points. Maybe you just say, hey, maybe we're not meant to score a touchdown in this series. We did a great job getting out of there. Let's come away with something here. No, no, no. Analytics. We have to go for it. Absolutely. Even though we're going to be using our fourth best play, Right? Are we saving our best play for the fourth down play? I don't think so. You're running your best play on the first down. That didn't go well. Your second best play on the second down, 0 for 2. Third best play on the third down, we're 0 for 3. Okay, let's just go ahead and go for it and find our fourth best play and see how that does. First down, Eagles going the other way. God, what are we doing? Play 28, I like the quick snap here. If you're going to use different cadences, the fake cadence, the dummy cadence, the long cadence, the hard counts, whatever you want to call it, we have to mix in these quick counts. Let's go. On the way, 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 on the way. Spot the ball. Get everybody up there. Get them set. Set hut. Right, get that ball snapped. That keeps the defense honest. By doing this quick count, that tells the defense we got to get lined up quicker. They got a blitz in safety right here. Look how far away he is on the blitz coming down off this backside. This way, Justin can get this throw off. If Justin used a regular cadence, I can promise you that safety would have gotten a little closer. 
and he might have gotten to the quarterback sooner. But by doing a quick snap, that puts that safety far away from the quarterback. Justin's able to take his normal drop. No panic here, no worry. Throw a rhythm throw to Allen on the little angle route, the Texas route. Nice job. Play 33 here. This is that bear defense. This is cover one, man to man with one safety deep. On a bear defense, there really is no help on the inside. That middle linebacker has the running back. But my point is, this defender down here in the slot at the bottom, he should be playing more inside technique. All the other defenders are playing inside technique. They'd rather you run an outbreaking route, but all that room in the middle, we have to protect that. This defender is outside technique. Justin in his pre-snap routine kind of surveys that. Which guy am I gonna throw to? I'm gonna throw to the guy that has outside technique. Hit him on this easy slant to Allen for a big play right in the middle of the field. 39, play action, bootleg. So the quarterback is rolling to the right. What does this safety say? This slot receiver has got to be running a corner route to the right side because I see the quarterback rolling right. There's no way this receiver is going to go to the left. Nobody can make that throw. So what does the receiver do? He runs the corner post. He fakes the corner right there. That confuses the safety even more. We call it a Cooper route, corner post. You get it. Not everybody can run this play because a lot of quarterbacks can't make this throw, but Justin can. This throw is not for everybody, folks. Don't try this throw at home. Nice job by Mike Williams going to get it, too, making a play for his quarterback. Everything just tells the defense this ball is going outside to the right. Justin's looking to the right. He's rolling to the right. Boom. Sets his feet, fires a 55-yard bullet with a defensive lineman coming right toward him. He can't get everything into this throw. He muscles it with his arm. It's extremely impressive. And Williams makes a great play. Play 57 here. Here we are. Six minutes to go in the game. 24-24. We got a ball game. Just a good series of play calls here. I love the naked. Get out on the run. They move the launch point for the quarterback. The Chargers do that a lot. That frustrates the defensive line. They don't know where he's going to be. And when he does drop back in the pocket, he throws the ball on time. The defensive line can't get there. Play 60. We're going to throw it down the field, right? We've been throwing short. we got to throw down field. No, we don't. Keep taking what the defense gives you. They're sinking deep in zone coverage. Take your completions. Matriculate down the field, as Hank Stram used to say. Just keep matriculating the ball down the field, boys. Move the chains. Play 62. Once again, on time. Completion to Allen. Nice tackle there by Philly. Gets them to another fourth down. Now, you might think the Chargers are discouraged by their lack of fourth down success in this game. Not true. They don't even blink. Brandon Staley, their head coach, says, no, go for it. I want number 10 out there. Fourth down conversion number one on this drive for the Chargers. 